video, we are going to continue with identifying whether a relation is a function, but this time we are going to utilize the vertical line test. So to tell whether a graph is a function, every x has only one y. But you can use the vertical line test to do the same thing. A relation is a function, so every x has only one y, if any vertical line, so if you were to draw an imaginary vertical line through the graph at anywhere, it will only touch the graph at one point. Makes sense. Every x has only one y. So if I draw a vertical line anywhere over the graph, it should only touch once if it is a function. So if we take a look at this graph here, if I draw an imaginary vertical line, it only hits the graph once. No matter where I draw the line, it only touches the graph once. So that's why this is considered a function. If we look right here, if I draw an imaginary vertical line through one, it only touches once. But if I draw a vertical line through two, it touches the graph twice. So because I found a spot where it hits the graph twice, it is not a function because every x can only have one y. So for example, here, when x is three, it only has one y of zero. However, over here, when x is two, it has a y value, it looks like 1.5, and when x is 2, it has a y value of, it looks like, about negative 2 or so. So you can't have an x value have two different y values for it to be called a function. All right, so go ahead and pause this video and use the vertical line test to determine which graph is a function here. So circle it if it is a function. There could be more than one. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you understand how to use the vertical line test. All right, so it says determine if it's a function. So this one would be no, because if I draw a vertical line, it touches the graph twice. This one would be yes, because if I draw a vertical line, it only touches once. This one would be Yes, it only touches once. And this one would be no, because when I draw a vertical line, I can find a spot where it touches twice. All right, now go ahead and pause the video and try A through E here. Circle whether it is a function. So again, pause the video. All right, so here we don't have a graph, so I'm not gonna use the vertical line test unless I draw a graph. So here I'm looking, does every X have one Y? And the answer is yes. Now, if I wanted to use the vertical line test as my justification, I would need to take each of these points and plot them. So the first point is negative two, negative three, one, three, 3, negative 3, and 5, 3. So when we graph these, if I draw a vertical line, it only touches once. So it passes the vertical line test. Okay, now we, if we take a look at table B here, this would not be a function because when x is 3, it has the y value of four and negative four. Same thing with four, it has two different y values. So that would be no. So if we draw a picture of this, we'd have a point at three, four, and then four, five, and then three, negative four, and four, negative five. So this would not be a function because if I draw a vertical line, it touches it twice. Because when x is three, for example, it has two different y values, four and negative four. 
All right, so if we take a look at C, this one is a function because every x has one y. When x is negative 1, you get a y value of negative 5. And then here we have a negative 1, but it's the same output. So there's only one y value of negative 5. This would be like someone accidentally listing this twice. There's no need to have that twice. That's the exact same point. So when we graph this, we'd have a point at negative 1, negative 5. And we'd have a point at 2, 4. And we'd have a point at 3, 7 and a point at negative 1, 5. That's the same point. So there's only three points, and when we draw a vertical line, it only touches once. So that's why it's yes. Okay, part D here. This would also be a function, because if we draw a vertical line, it only touches once. All right, if X is the age of people in our math class, so for example, let's say X was someone who's 21 in this class. If I were to ask people in this class what their shoe size is, so that's why, does every 21-year-old in this class going to have a shoe size of 9? No. Someone in this class could be 21 and have a shoe size of 10. So every X is not going to have one Y value. So this would be no. It's not a function. So the only functions were A, C, and D.